l'agence Mcom Interculturelle, la Mcom Conseil et l'association Artis sont euh, à Dinan à l'occasion du festival international de la harpe euh, celtique à la 35e édition, hein, donc euh, belle édition en perspective avec des artistes de renom, euh, des artistes internationaux. Jacom, si présent, euh, à l'occasion euh, du Festival international de la harpe à Dinan, 35e édition. Donc, euh, et vous entendez d'ailleurs autour de nous euh, les sons de la harpe hein, qui se diffusent euh, un peu partout. Euh, très bon fond musical. <rire> et donc nous allons revenir avec euh, Léonard Jacob euh, sur son parcours, sur euh, ce qu'il inspire, euh, euh, sa particularité. Euh, voilà, nous allons en fait voyager au Venezuela, parce qu'il est du Venezuela. Pendant qu'on va voyager à travers lui. Uh, thanks a lot, Leonard Jacob. <rire> so, how do you feeling? Hey, I am. Thank you for your invitation. Thank you for the, this uh, wonderful opportunity. I am very grateful with the uh, festival organization for this invitation for. Uh, to show the Venezuelan harp in France and it's my first time in this wonder, wonderful and beautiful city and I very it's for me a pleasure to be here. Oh, Thank you. For us also. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, could you explain to you, to the audience uh, your um, Where are you born? Uh, how do you have chosen this instrument of okay. harp? Yes. Uh, your story. Yes. Okay, I, I born in Rubio, Estado Táchira, a little town uh, in the Andes mountains, mm -hmm. uh, very near of the Colombian border. And uh, I start uh, to play. Uh, I start in the music. Um, by the support uh, for my parents, my father and my mother, Imelda and Edgar. And uh, we start with the piano the okay. first time, and after with the clarinet, after with the cuatro. Venezuelan okay. cuatro is like a little guitar, uh, more bigger than an ukulele. Uh -huh. And after with the um, uh, guitar, bass, electric bass, maracas, mandolin, and when I have, well, sorry, when I am um, 12 years old, I start with the Venezuelan harp. Okay, and in your country, the harp uh, is a specific instrument. Uh, how can you consider this instrument in your country? Okay. You, you must remember that the, the harp arrived to America with the Spanish colony uh -huh. and uh, okay. in first time in Venezuela, after in Mexico, after we, uh, by the mountains to Peru and after with the Jesuits uh, for the Plata River to Paraguay and in, in each country uh, the people adapt and adopt this instrument with, with, um, with the, the culture of this, this uh, country. And in Venezuela, uh, we have three kinds of harps. Um, the Janera harp uh, with nylon strings. Uh, standard harp, uh, Janera harp has 32 strings. Uh, okay. And central harp with metal strings and uh, uh, the Venezuelan electric harp. Haha, uh -huh. okay, we are going to talk about this after. Okay. <laughs> It's very interesting. Um, you are uh, very surprising about your possibility and uh, about your activity because you are multi-instrumentalist, multi arranger, composer and producer. <laughs> just, yeah. just hold, okay? Um, how can you manage 
uh, this multi activity. Yeah, it's crazy, it's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because, natural. <laughs> okay. Because, because uh, um, I, uh, I manage my, my, my career with the help um, now, for, uh, with the help from my wife, my children, okay. and uh, with my family. Uh, I, uh, now I am living in Bogota. Uh, from Bogota, I I come to manage my my career around the world because uh, I have my signature uh, from Bogota yeah. with my my business partner Andres Barrera, and uh, I, I am uh, I am the I am all. <laughs> In my in my career, I am the traductor, I am the uh, Rodi, I am the administrator, uh, administrator. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I am the manager. <laughs> okay. Uh, because I, um, I must um, I must work for for the music. I love the music. I love my career. I love my country. My people. And uh, it's it, my. In, excuse me, in this fact, you don't like uh, finally the frontiers. Yes. Y you like to open your activity to uh, maybe perhaps uh, to, um, to extract your activity. It's, it's a passion. It's a passion. Yeah, it's a passion. Uh, because I am very grateful with my God for, for this talent and for, yeah. for all of our wonderful opportunities in my life. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, there, is there a good place to play? Because you, you mm -hmm. turn around the world. Yes. Uh, you have really opportunities everywhere. So yeah, why is the place I, 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 perfect I, to play? Yes, I I, will, um, uh, I like to play my harp in 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 around the world, but. Uh, uh, there are some cities and, and towns uh, very very nice for me. And uh, for example, uh, I I enjoy when I play in my country, in my in my little town, Rubio, with my friends. Uh, but uh, the next uh, week I will play in Japan or in Malaysia. Uh, in France, I love France. I love France. I, I am uh, very happy to to have uh, many very big friends in France, in in London, in Chicago, for example, in Mexico, in Cuba, uh, in Colombia, in Chile. Oh, I love. I love. Yeah, it's I a love hard all the people <laughs> because uh, I have uh, many many f big and very good friends around the world. Wow, what a present. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, what about this festival here uh, at Dino? Okay. Um, what do you feeling about this festival? Mm. This, this is your first uh, time in Dino. Time? So. Uh, um, I am very happy to be here because it's a very magical it's very magic for me uh, to be here because um, there are uh, uh, a passion for the harp. Mm. It's, a, it's very special for me, and uh, uh, the, the buildings, the old buildings, a very medieval mm. uh, city, and wow, it's uh, it's, uh, it's magic. It's magic for me. Wow. Uh, uh, Days ago, I walking and walking uh, in the street and enjoy the people, enjoy the weather, enjoy the buildings. And the, oh, it's a very nice, very nice. Yeah, you're right. It's very uh, inspiring. Yes, yes, of course. Okay, uh, and uh, um, in um, for, for for us, uh, the app is. Celtic, you know. Yes, but maybe it's uh, it's uh, it's not a fact, you know, because uh, uh, there is Celtic culture everywhere. In fact, <laughs> but how uh, how do you know about 
this Celtic culture. Okay. I think uh, my first uh, meeting with the Celtic heart was uh, in, in Paraguay and Argentina. Uh, and uh, uh, from this time, I am um, find and looking uh, about the Celtic culture because uh, it's a very mythic, mythic mm. uh, civilization, yeah. and uh, uh, the, 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 the Celtic culture is very mythic, very, very old in the world. Yeah. And uh, now, for example, I I use uh, the levers in the Venezuelan harp thanks to my friend Edmar Castañeda and my friend Jacques Francois and with my electric Venezuelan electric harp and now uh, in, in Venezuela and Colombia we play in Janera music and uh, 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 for this uh, work and, and we are playing with the livers mm. and the livers uh, are using yeah, are used um, from the Celtic uh, Celtic harvest from uh, 1660. Wow! In the uh, many years ago, many yeah. the, the three, four, four century mm. before. So wow! Yeah, it's easy. It's, it's a very, very impressive. It's impressive. Yeah, exactly. Have you gone to Lorient? Lorient, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, I have, I have a big friend in in the north of England. He, he is named uh, Andy Lowins. Andy Lowins was my first English teacher with the okay. with his wife, and uh, he has uh, a la a lawyer oh. in 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 his house. There is a bigger, yes. big festival interceltic yes. there. This is why. Uh, I talk about this. You have uh, successful. You are successful because um, you have. Um, with the uh, society Kamak, um, okay, uh, a kind of music, and we call uh, this kind electro art. Yes. So it's it's a very uh, it, it's an experience for you, no? <laughs> yes. <laughs> because um, could you could you explain to to, to us uh, uh, how uh, do you do you have thinking about this? Yes. And the evolution of this project? Yes, yes. No? And uh, mm, from 2005, can you understand me? Sorry, my English is not perfect. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> and uh, we, um, uh, I, I create my ensemble, uh, Strings Under Pressure, Cuerdas Bajo Presión, with my friend Jorge Glenn. Uh, for me, is the very most are, um, uh, the best quarter player in the world. Okay. Uh, he's uh, living now in New York. But in 2005, I created my ensemble studio under uh, pressure with him. And uh, uh, in this time, uh, we play we play it in genre music and. Um, more of a st a style of, of music, uh, jazz and uh, bossa nova from Brazil, tango from Argentina, Latin, uh, Latin fusion, Latin jazz, and in, in the, uh, the Venezuelan harp, in this time, um, don't have uh, the, uh, the levers. Only uh, the Venezuelan harp is a, diat a diatonic uh, harp. No, it's not chromatic harp. And uh, in this time, I I was thinking, oh, what can I do to change this way? Mm. What can I do to, to improve the, to improve this yeah. heart? And uh, years after, 
uh, uh, <clears throat> I saw in Argentina a ke uh, electric Celtic harvest and in this uh, occasion I I was thinking oh it's possible to change the mm. harp because yeah. I need for for change uh, and improve the, the ways to play the, the, the um, play the harp, the Venezuelan harp, and I um, I I can uh, um, I, I saw this uh, le uh, ma uh, market level yeah. uh, logo, sorry, Kamak harps. Oh, Kamak what harps. Is it? Yes, I wrote to Kamak and uh, Jacques uh, uh, replied very quickly, and yes. Uh, uh, Please, Jacques, uh, I want, uh, I, I am Leonard from Venezuela, etc., etc., with my history, my, my ask, and I want to, 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 uh, I, I would like to change and, and to, to see all the, possibility, the possibilities for the, the create a new harp. A mm -hmm. new electric genera harp with levers, with more strings, with the length from my Venezuelan harp, and with with two inputs, one for the lower strings and the uh, second one for the high strings. And uh, Jaques uh, arrived to Venezuela in 2011, mm -hmm. and uh, when I we was we were in this meeting. Uh, we we uh, sorry we were arranging all the new parts all the new achievements uh, okay. for for this hub and two years um, after arrived to Venezuela in 20 in 2012 arrived uh, to Venezuela the very first prototype of Venezuelan harp, wow. supported by Jaques and Kamak. For Christmas? <laughs> yes, for Christmas. Yes, for really? Christmas. Yes. Oh, it's yes. Super yes. And, uh, wow, it, it's, uh, it, it was a surprise for me because I don't play. Uh, I play it. In electric harp before, mm -hmm. and uh, in this moment, uh, start. Uh, a new history for me, and yeah. a new history for the Venezuelan harp. I'm very proud to to working with Jaques uh, uh, in this uh, very important project, and I'm very grateful with Jaques because I, I think it's my opinion that Jaques is the epicenter of the harp in the world now. Okay, and when you are you have received this new uh, instrument. Um, you are, it was a new practice, no? So how you have um, uh, finally um, reappropriate this instrument? Okay, you know? uh, for this instrument uh, I create new techniques uh, um, in, in, on the Venezuelan harp uh, uh, because it's necessary to tune the harp in different keys and uh, move the levers and take the vase in different way and uh, um, I, I need a ba bass amp for the bass and the keyboard amp for the high strings. I have, um, um, I introduce a new device, the loop station and now I can play with my electric harp and make a loop and uh, to um, play my quattro and uh, make a very nice groove, very nice jamming with the maracas, with the acoustic one, and I can to play more free and to show the Venezuelan music, Latin American music. It's a it's an adventure. Oh it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's crazy because I, <laughs> I don't know who can who can I do the, it because in some times. Uh, it's only impro improvisation in the in the stage. It's, it's feeling. It's feeling. Yeah, yeah. And you became a, a trend, <laughs> the new trend. <laughs> Already successful. Yes, and and uh, now, um, what are your dreams? 
oh. with the, with this, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I I want to. I am very. I am a dreamer. I am a sentimental people. I I dream with the play better every day and improve my technique every day. And if there are singer. Uh, to, to play with him, that you want to invite to play yes, with him? Yes, A singer. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, one? I want um, uh, Stevie Wonder. Ah. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, wow. Stevie Wonder, if you listen to us, we have a candidate. He's here. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Maybe. I would like to play with the Berliner Philharmonic Orchestra, Berlin or, oh. or Philharmonic Orchestra. Mm. Uh, and uh, I, I, I have um, a kind of concert with the both of harp, of, of genera, of uh, common genera harps, electric and acoustic. Uh, with, the, um, with the electric harp, with uh, big band jazz and acoustic one with the Philharmonic Orchestra. Okay. I played with the F uh, Malaysian Philharmonic or Orchestra in 2016 and I will play with them again uh, on next um, November. And I will, I would like to play with the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra and I will, I, I dream to play in the, in the Scala de Milan. I, I, I would like to play with the Los Angeles Philharmonic I, I, I want to play in, oh, in New York. I want to play in... Oh. Oh. No, stay with the dreams. <laughs> like this, you are going to, to, to practice uh, and, and go on your dreams. It's perfect. <laughs> Don't change. Yes. Okay, do you know um, Camille and Kenaris? Yes. Oh. What do you think about this style? Because it's very specific. Is is very special. Okay, so, so just uh, just to, to precise uh, to the audience. En fait, Camille et Kenardi, c'est deux artistes, deux jeunes femmes, uh, qui uh, qui en fait uh, proposent un nouveau style uh, hard uh, art metal, pardon. Voilà. <laughs> on, on mettra une illustration vidéo YouTube. Um, so, uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, uh, they think that the music is free and. Uh, um, these girls uh, make a uh, very, very, very good music, uh, very, very nice um, style of music. I, I like. It's, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's very, it's very. It's fresh. It's fresh. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, very modern. Very. How uh, do uh, it's very contemporary. It's yeah. very, it's very nice. It's yeah, and cool. aesthetic, cool. aesthetic. Also. Yes, artistic. Yes, <laughs> yes, very cool. <laughs> okay, um, today this is the last question. Okay. Um, today we celebrate in France mm. uh, the Independence Day. You know, um, in your country, uh, I learned that it was the five of July. And I this born, is your birthday. I born, I born, I born 5 of July in my country. Franchement, pour le coup, j'ai pas. It was for me uh, unknown. And um, uh, which message could give you to the people of the world? Oh, it could be a hope message or voilà, with your heart. Hey. You know? Sincerely, to finish the interview. Sincerely, I, mean, yeah. um, I, th I think that uh, ah, we must to to be more human, to be more sensibility, mm. to be more more free. The world is free, and yeah. uh, and uh, we must. More, more human, more human. Yes. I love this world. Yes. <laughs> it's perfect. So, this, this, it was my last question. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks a lot, really. It was a really pleasant, really good moment to talk with you. 
Euh, voilà, on a fini donc euh, cette interview avec euh, Léonard Jacob qu'on qu va donc euh, découvrir et admirer euh, ce soir parce qu'il est euh, en représentation scénique ce soir ici même au théâtre euh, des Jacobins euh, de Dinan. Donc euh, on vous mettra une illustration. Thanks a lot. Thank you for you. And Thank you. It's a pleasure for me to be here. <laughs> Thanks. Merci. À bientôt.